pleasure. My pleasure. Watcher. Okay, next day now, uh, Saturday morning. Uh, so after a much needed sleep and uh, rest there, um, up and about, and what I've done is uh, asked a couple of lads that I'm staying with there, uh, where the local shops are, things like that. I uh, just found a local cash point, so that's good, so I can get some cash in my wallet um, for smaller things. And yes, just pop down the road here to like the local sort of, it's like a, um, what you call sort of a out of town shopping centre, I call in my country. Um, there's a few shops dotted about, uh, an Aldi and a few others here. So I'm just going to go in here now and get a few other supplies because um, yesterday I just got a few um, easy bits. That's the, uh, the area here. So yeah, just going to go in there and get a few. Uh, mundane things really but um, yeah that's what I'm up to at the moment uh, nice day it's meant to be a really nice day today so um, hopefully I can get get all this done and then what I'm hoping also is get on the Googles and see what gyms are about uh, and see if I can't um, well yeah find a gym get work out in that sort of thing really and uh, a gym for going forward um, so I can carry on my workouts and everything else that's the plan for today anyway um, yes enough said let's get in the shop and I'll uh, see what I can buy and what I can get and what I can't get here if not well the lads did tell me there's another one which is not too far away as well but I thought this is the closest one first I'll try here and then uh, yes go from there really so um, yeah back soon all right so after having a quick look around these shops um, got a better idea what I can get for sort of daily life and supplies um, what I'm finding at the moment, especially for me uh, training purposes, what I was used to buying in my country is like packs of frozen chicken breast and then cooking them. And uh, like diced chicken, it's frozen and things like that. But here, so far I've noticed, in a lot, even like the Aldi's, which obviously they have in my country as well, you can't buy things like that here. Um, if you're buying chicken breast, it's um, non-frozen, you know, fresh if you like. Um, so right, okay, all doable, workable for what you know, for what on my meal plans and normally are. So not the end of the world, but uh, I think a period of readjustment and you know finding how things will fit into the my daily routines and things like that. So um, yeah, not too bad. So a bit of intel gathering there, really. Um, Sort of mundane stuff really but obviously you're setting up in another country and it's all new to me so um yes got a few ideas uh what i do need which i'm quite annoyed with myself really i bought two um plug adapters from english plugs to euro plugs and i had one anyway and um i bought two purposely i thought that'll, that'll, that i need some more that'll, that'll be good that'll be good and i think i left them at home you're a loser so i'm trying to find some more obviously I can plug more things in you know um, so I've got a big uh, team socket thing in my room to use to plug all my things into but I need a converter plug for the wall to start with so yes not a good start but anyway uh, a couple of lads back at the uh, place there um, was saying there's another place down the road which is like a bigger supermarket called Corfland so I think I'll have a drive down there now and see what that's all about and um, see what supplies there are in there. So um, I'll drive over there and come back to you. So, as you can see, welcome to Corfland. So I just pulled up here in the car park, uh, just looking around here. A bit promising to start with because we've got petrol garage here to start with, so that'd be handy. And over there, let's walk over here a little bit. Over here, it looks like, let's get out of the way of this car, that there's a place you can wash your car off. Car wash, the hoover, things like that. Good stuff. Right, I don't know if this is going to work. Um, let's move around a bit, there we go. Right, let's see if I can do a bit of filming inside. This is the usual thing, but um, as soon as you start doing any vlogging, 
you will get looked at like you are an absolute nutter talking to a camera. The life of us vloggers, eh? Right, uh, what have we got here? They don't sound German. We've got a trolley, let's try and get a trolley. The problem I'm finding is I haven't got any Euro change. Oh, here we go. Right, we've got one. Let's go this way. Right. So I'm going to pop in now, see what they've got, see what I can get. All them sort of things. Uh, I hope I've got bigger expectations for this place. I'm hoping they've got a bit more in here than the uh, the other little places I've been to so far to check out what groceries they've got and all them sort of things. Um, so I'm um, bigger building, so I'm hoping for better things out of this one. So um, hmm, we shall see. But uh, it's really nice out today. Really nice. So, anyways, we're going here now and uh, see what we can get, so, back soon. Well, I'll give you a few views as I just walked in here. So as you walk in, there's an O2 shop, and we've got this here. We've got this here. Now, don't ask me what half of these foods are, all these meats are, I have no idea. So if anyone knows, comment. Got these here. All this here. And what we got over here? Looks like bread rolls and things like that. Look at them. Cakes, things like that to have. Nice, and then it's a bit like an English supermarket because you've got a few shops. There's the back, there's the checkouts, and then you've got a few shops, m smaller shops within it. So, right, it's like a get cigarettes, things like that. There, right. So, I suppose we go around here, and that's the actual. Oh, there's some cloves here. Right, okay. Right, and then this is the actual supermarket entrance. And whatever that said, I have no idea. Not up on me German yet, I've done no research on this whatsoever. I'll just come out here. I forgot jumping in the deep end, eh? Oh, we've got a cash point there, that's handy. Ah, now one of the blokes said about this, you keep certain cans and bottles you put them in the machine and you can get some sort of refund for recycling so i'll have to do that to make a note of that right okay all right i need to free up some hands so i'll put the camera down for now and then i'll report back soon right so i'm outside now and uh just finished i was in there for ages because what i've had to do is um walk around every single aisle finding out where everything is um, and what it is and translating it via a couple of phone apps so it's, it's taken this time it's taken far too long really but if I come to this shop again and other well a couple of other shops I've got a better idea what I'm looking for uh, some things I'm finding um, harder to find here so far than England um, i.e. you can walk into most shops over there and more or less buy exactly what you want. Now over here they don't seem to sell the same type of product um, and it's finding um, finding them really and it's proving to it be a little bit hard at the moment. But I managed to get most of the things that will get me by and I can it fits in my meal plan and everything else. Uh, obviously if you're not in a meal plan and you're just doing if you like normal eating then no problem you know you just walk in buy whatever you like. But for me you've got to be a little bit more picky and a bit you know careful uh, a bit harder at the moment so um, got to watch out for that and I did have a little segment which I was filming while I was in there so I was walking around 
and um, with my trolley here. I'm just pushing back to the car now. And I was just walking around in the shop and um, filming myself like this, like you do, doing vlogging. And uh, move over. I'm trying to push this one handed. So, yeah, there I was, walking around, minding my own business, filming myself, you know, and um, unlike Thailand, where most people just seem to think, oh, farang with a camera. And they just think nothing of it and carry on. So, I'm getting all sorts of looks as I'm walking around. Uh, with my gimbal here and uh, I'm just carrying on as normal because you get used to it uh, doing a bit of vlogging and so there I'm walking around filming myself and all this lot and showing you the trolley and a few of the stuff's on the shelves and all that and this bloke come up to me and he started having a go uh, at me and uh, going off in German I'm like sorry mate I don't really understand what you're talking about I'm saying to him uh, you know I can't understand you sorry um, and his wife was there and I thought oh hold on did they think when I was moving the camera around with the gimbal, that just opened the car up, that I was filming his missus, filming his wife, who by the way wasn't very attractive anyway. Um, I said, no, 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 he's filming me, he's for YouTube, he's filming me, camera facing my way, camera facing me, look. Oh, no, he started going off, so I went, okay, okay, okay. So, showed him the footage, I said, it's for me, it's, look, look, filming me, filming me. Uh, and he started going off about something, I said, oh, sorry mate, I don't know what you're talking about, I, I, I don't understand you. Um, and his, his wife went, oh, hold on, and did a translation on her phone, data protection. I'm like, Phew. Huh? it's a first for me, so a couple of firsts actually. Firstly, I've got um, confrontation whilst vlogging, uh, and then secondly, data protection. So I think later on I might Google data protection and... Um, in Germany. Very strange. Very strange. Uh, but the way this bloke was going off to start with, I thought, he, I thought, he thought I'd been filming his, his wife. So I'm like, no, data protection. So I wait till I was outside and obviously um, do this bit outside. So you know, I think I'll Google that later. So um, anyone else knows, comment below about this. Data protection always in Germany, you know. You can't just do like you do in Thailand and in my country and walk into most places with a camera and film yourself. Or things, you know, the right of the member of the public to film near enough whatever you want because it's public, a public place. Is that different in Germany? I have to find out on this. Um, very strange, very strange. Right, so I'm obviously in my car. I didn't go to that little market bit um, because as I was loading the car up with me shopping, the same bloke who, who was having a go at me in the shop was driving past in his car, giving me loads of evil looks and everything. Um, he was doing something on his phone, so I don't know what he was doing. So um, I thought, mm. I think um, I'll just take the shopping home and go from there and work out what I can do this afternoon now. But um, yeah, very strange that, very strange. So. Yes, I think leaving this area would be a good idea at the moment, so um, see you soon. Right, so as you can see, I'm at another retail park now, and I uh, just popped into that media market, or however you say it in German. Um, and finally, a little bit of a success, I managed to get myself a plug adapter. So, uh, yes, just got that. Um, quite expensive for what it was, eight euro. Oh well, need on. And it was the last one they had left. I was going to get two, but oh well. At least I can plug some things in now, so that's all right. Not too bad. Um, yeah, it's like a retail park here. Uh, you've got the media market. Yeah, you've got media market there, which is like a big electrical retailer, and then you've got Bike Max there. Obviously, everything cycles. Uh, what's over there? Masons, that's like homewares, things like that. There's a KFC down there. And nestling over the back there is another one of them companies that's uh, intent on world domination, IKEA. So it's not too bad, just south of where I live. So not too bad there. So I managed to get a couple of supplies. Yes, yeah, so now I've got that. I think what I'm going to do now, talking to one of the blokes earlier before I came out, um, one of my fellow workers, 
he was telling me there's a gym not too far from here now so I might go and check that out as well and grab myself a coffee somewhere so um, next stop gym after a little drive up the road after a coffee stop um, following one of the talking to one of the blokes I was living with he recommended trying out this place here for a gym so I uh, just popped in there and I just had a look around the place um, this is the outside and just went in there went through with the bloke he could hear the grasp of English so that was alright for me yeah with a grasp of English so he could get by and essentially signed up for a six month contract for now and we'll see how that goes um, obviously if I'm working out here any longer than that then I'll extend it from there or if not I can go to another gym try another gym um, but yes essentially uh, I could do uh, pay cash every month that's fine with me because one of the other blokes did warn me that some of these gyms here need you to have a German bank account and I thought don't want another account I've had to do enough as it is to get set up to get out of here so um, yes not don't want another account so anyway went in there he showed me round and nice bit of equipment in there really nice um, more than enough for what I want and so with some new equipment so I can do other things as well hopefully so it's all good at the moment uh, nice bit of cardio stuff as well the usual showers and lockers all that sort of thing um, so yes gym sorted so a bit productive more or more productive today so um, I took a photo of their opening hours so they open at 10 tomorrow so I can that means I can go back to my room and relax for the evening um, do a bit of editing get some vlogs up ready and um, yeah tomorrow morning a bit more refreshed um, I can uh, come to the gym here have a nice session get back on it again uh, I've had a few couple of three days off while I was getting ready to come out here you see so I can be back on it tomorrow lovely jubbly and after that um, I'm thinking then I might be able to pop out and film a bit more so as it as it goes out here and I'm more settled and I know what the work hours are because I've got to find out what that is from Monday onwards so if I roughly know what I'm doing each day and if there's time in the evenings with these summer evenings if they're nice and the weekends if I'm not working overtime or something like that I can do a bit more and show you a bit more of the local area and go down to Mannheim and have a look around there and all the other little local towns and anything of interest any museums or anything like that so that's the plan but at the moment it's a bit all over the place trying to get set up and, and finding my way round and hopefully not getting into the um, this German data protection laws again so that was a bit weird this morning so now a bit wary about filming anywhere inside anywhere really don't know what to do about that um, I have to uh, do a bit more googling on this subject I think and see if uh, if this is right you know where you can and can't film so any, uh, any subscribers out there have been to Germany or live in Germany even um, or regular visitors to Germany anything like that let me know what the story is with this because I'm a bit confused now and I don't I had a bad feeling also after this bloke this morning I had a bad feeling and I thought oh yeah I've never had that before anywhere I've been before anywhere people look at, they look at you like you're a nutter because you're talking to a camera like now uh, you always get funny looks wherever you go. Usually in Thailand, though, it's like, oh, stupid Farang. And you just carry on. Uh, and no one bats an eyelid, but that was the first time I've ever read that today. So, strange, strange. So, yeah, that's the plan. And then over the next few days, and as it all calms down, I can want to be out and about more and scooting around and looking at things and finding new things and, you know, all of that. Lot. Oh, what I did find, actually incidentally which I passed on the way here which I might have mentioned was a, a Thai um, food shop and looking on Google's earlier um, there's a couple of Thai restaurants uh, back in uh, Worms which is another local town look that up um, so yes another day another weekend I might pop over there and have a walk around Worms and we'll have a look around there shall we so yeah all it all it's all panning out now things are starting to settle down a bit then we get into normal daily life and get into a routine a bit and then see how we go so i'll show you more so that's the plan anyway so i'm gonna have a relaxing evening now because it's a really nice day today it's about 27 degrees lovely it's really nice really nice so nice uh, go home have something to eat have a relax feet up a couple of coffees i brought some uh, 
brought this bottle of Sang Song with me that um, Bestie found for me, um, the old mate Big Fat Bestie, which we got on Cyber Cow. So uh, I've got that with me, and I've also got a, a bottle of um, Jack Daniels, the, um, the cinnamon one, the Tennessee Fire, is it? That one, the Red Label one, which I really like. So I've got some of that with me as well. So I might even treat myself to a couple of little shots of that tonight as well. Why not, eh? That's the plan anyway. So, right, for now, I'll um, end it here, and then I'll catch up with you tomorrow when I'll be out and about again. So for now, see you later.